Okay, welcome and good morning everyone. Appreciate you guys stopping by for another day in the life video. Um, if you haven't seen the video yet, I just posted it maybe an hour ago and uh, you're definitely going to want to look at it. The sparring pit, um, come to find out, is actually super, super useful and you get a lot of experience from it. Um, a little sneak peek into it, basically um, you can get up to like 10,000 gems worth of experience in a year if you use the sparring pit. So highly, highly recommend watching that and then determining if you think the sparring pit's right for you. So, um, yeah, let's see if we have the elusive seer today. We have a two star helicath, which is kind of nice. No seer. Man, it's been, uh, it's been quite a while now. I uh, hope, hope she comes around soon, but you never know. And I think I, yeah, I farmed iron twins yesterday and I think I got quite a bit of these, which is great. I didn't get enough for a mortal soul stone, so I guess that's good. Go in here, 75 energy is always nice. See my clan quests. I need to do this one for the Hydra. Decapitate Hydra heads and then some of that. You can also come in. I think it's Thursday now. So, or it's Friday, I think. So, what even day is it today? Friday. Yeah. Okay. So, I can go in and I can choose one of these. And uh, I think this one would actually be super easy because I've been doing Fire Knight quite a bit. So I'll grab that. And then I realized I never I never showed you guys these, but I grabbed those and then we can pull these accessories. So I'm really looking for an undead horde banner or amulet or ring, honestly. Not seeing one yet. Unfortunate, but that's the cost of doing business. I only hit clan boss uh, three times yesterday because uh, I forgot to hit it early in the morning. So we missed the hard stuff and I have a feeling clan boss isn't going to be nice to us because of it. Five gems and an ancient, that's good. We'll see what we get. Another ancient, 15 gems. And another void, so, you know, I'll take it. And then I'll try my luck on this one, I think, just to see if we can get a triple roll in speed. I'm all about the speed rolls. And yeah, today we have the 2x10x for Harima. I'm not sure if I'm gonna pull or not. I need to do the fusion stuff first, which I guess we can kind of do that now and then see how many points we get. I think what I want to do is go in and see how many Lego books I can get from roughly how many shards. Okay, sweet. I was like, I'm not sure if the event is actually live, so it is as far as getting the points, so that's good. Do that. I highly recommend, well, it's kind of a little too late now for anyone that, uh, but highly recommend next time a fusion like this comes around to do the same thing if you can, where you use the points for uh, champ chase. <coughs> Oh my goodness, I broke my back. There are four of the epics now, so I'll just go into the tavern real quick and level up the last few. Do this, boom. Ugh, I hate doing this. I'll do this. I hate using champions that I've already put levels into, even if it's like one level. 
You know what they say, if you get a blue, you have better luck. So it could be worth it to pull. I also need to put a, oh, I don't want to put bruise into him because there's no champ training going on. So oh, I'm still waking up, still waking up. Okay, so we should have, yeah, we have three, three stars now. You can go back, I can do this. Come in, rank him up. Send him, smack that keyboard. Smack the like button, smack the keyboard. Okay, now he is good. And I think we have one more that we need to do. Uh, two more. All right, he's up to 40. I'm doing this for simplicity's sake. I don't feel like going back in and I can't do it. I literally, I'm so, I don't know if cheap is the right word or what, but I don't like wasting ones that I can level up to rank two super easily. I know it realistically, it's probably like such few energy, but even still. So I have 215 ancients. My guess, realistically, if they do a guaranteed event, they won't do it above 180 shards. So I could pull 30 something pretty easily. Oh wait, I need to throw some bruise in him and then do that. Silly me. Yeah, so I could pull 35 and still have enough for sure for a guaranteed. I also don't really think they'll go above 150. If they did, I have gems to get enough. Uh, if it's a good champion, which don't want to do that. <laughs> I'm all over the place. Do this. Boom, 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 boom. Fuse. All right, and then we'll make it super quick. Go back in. All the brews. Upgrade. One, two, three, four. My tyrant with the five star. I'll send you. Brew you up. Oh yeah, my guess was 50, I think, and we're right on the money for that one. I'm going to pull like three more. Man, it's so funny. It just takes like so long to do this kind of trivial stuff. But for the fusion, you got to do it. Okay, now we go to the next one. Throw all the brews in. Rank it up. Level them up. And that Reliquary Tender that I have, level 19 right now, I don't think I want to feed her just because I have so many Void Brews that I like to save the, the Void Champs and just kind of brew them up to like 40 and then I can 4 star them. But I have plenty of chickens so I can just use the chickens. For these guys instead. Boom. 
it's so nice like if you don't do a champ training or something for a little while you definitely end up with plenty of brews i want to see azur what his skills are before i feed him just in case he has something that's semi-unique back here click on him what do we have a stun on his a1 30 two time hit 30 percent chance of a stun chance increases to 100 percent if the target has increased speed okay so the enemy has to have increased speed interesting places a 50 percent ally protection buff on all allies places a shield buff on this champion for 40 percent of this champion's hp this buff cannot be removed Attacks one enemy, places an extra hit if the target has a stun. It is always critical. Steals 50% of the turn meter if they're not under a stun. So realistically, an A1 stun and an ally protection. Don't need him. I'll just use him. And then I don't need him either. Pop all these. And I think this is the last one. Go back in. Boom. Look at all that hard work paying off. Or something like that. Use her up. A mil silver just because. Even though we spent like probably four mil just doing all that. And we get a Lego. Sweet, that is, I'm actually really excited for her. I think she looks freaking awesome too. Now my account is gonna go into minnow farming big time for her and Rotos. Yeah, I'm actually really excited about that. Oh yeah, and then I put a bunch more runs into... It's funny that I ended up finishing the Dungeon Divers because I probably shouldn't have, but I put a bunch of energy into Fire Knight last night. We'll see where I am. 5,200. Oh yeah, so I'm in the lead right now. I'm going to be gone tonight, but I think I might even put more gems into it and see if I can keep the top slot just because... The Relentless would be really nice, and 3x regen is fantastic. Oh, great. Um, no energy. Very crazy to me. We've got 1,500. Oh, it's the Corvus one. Uh, yeah, that's not going to happen. I'll, uh, I'll grab my wife and we'll pull some shards. I might make it into a separate video, though. Just because... I'm not going to be around uh, today or tomorrow, and then Sunday I'm not coming home till late. But if we can pull 2x for Harima, uh, 2x 10x for Harima, I would love to. She's a super solid champ. I hate going against her in Arena, so Let's see what we get from this. Just a blue gear grinder, like my 40th gear grinder I've gotten on this account. But slowly and surely, building up the coins again, which is really nice. And I think, so I, I'm pretty positive I've shown my Fire Knight 24 team, but this is my 25 team. And my 24 team, I ran 100 runs yesterday, and I think we lost three of them. So it's got like a 97 or 96% win rate. Um, but the 25 team is 100% win rate. So when I get the Seer, um, I think I think when I get the Seer upgrade for her her um, crushing run, I think she'll be 100% on stage 24 as well. Because I think what happens is there's sometimes that she gets all of the kills on the waves and she'll get her like increased speed or whatever but then there's other times where 
I don't think she gets them all or something, and then the speed tune gets out of whack, so when I know for sure that she's killing all of the waves and I still see that we're not 100%, I can kind of change stuff up, but because the waves get a little wonky, sometimes, like, somehow one of the guys in the waves will kill one of my dudes or something, something weird happens like that, so... Yeah, and we grabbed that stuff yesterday. We'll grab this Ancient, so we can pull that one today too. Always want the rank and rarity charms. Slowly build our way up for either the Lego or the Sacred Tome. Said that wrong. Lego, Lego Tome or Ancient, or Sacred Shard. Uh, sacred Shard. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, but I think I'll get out of here now. Just gonna do my dailies for the day. Get my inbox cleared out because we have a bunch of stuff. I guess we can check that out too. Pretty much any five star boots I don't want. I'm keeping six star boots now because of the chance for them to roll into a speed substat. And I need to fix this because I don't really care about keeping things that are six star legendary boots. Some five star boots. See, like, I mean, I might keep these just because they're savage, and I really, really want to upgrade my savage. That's a good piece. Let's just roll this up, see what we get. I just, I think I sell it. HP is good, resistance and HP are good, but it's not in a perfect set. And I need to get picky. Accuracy and crit rate, that'll be a sell. I think maybe if it... Okay, that's a sell. I need this to be a quad. And it's not, so that's a sell. And then these boots, we just want HP or defense percent. Okay, not the worst, I guess. HP percentage nuker could maybe use that. Um, I'll sell this just because it's... Um, I'll, I'm actually going to roll it up a couple times because if I put someone in a shield set... Yeah, okay, never mind. I was going to say, if I put them in a shield set, like Ghostborn or Renegade, I could want the crit rate or accuracy, so... But we didn't get either. And then that'll be a sell. Okay, so let's see our regen boots that we got. I'll sell these ones. These ones are speed, so I might roll them up and see. Defense percent with crit rate, speed, and HP. If we roll speed and HP, those will be good. These ones, I'm in the way of. My hair's all crazy. Um, I think those ones are a sell. HP percent with resist, probably a sell. Accuracy with speed and defense percent could be good. Let's roll these up. Nice. Okay. This is a solid piece, I think, for uh, a ninja or um, someone to help with sand devils. Like walking tomb drawing, I think he needs that sort of stuff. Yeah, that's a sell. And again, I rolled it up even though it was the flat stat just because if I get a quad, I can use a chaos or on it. This piece I'll probably roll up to 15, 16 eventually. Roll these boots up. That's pretty disappointing to be honest. I don't care about those. Don't care about that or that. Don't care about this. This could be good. Okay, nice. That's a solid piece. Hmm, too bad. 17 crit damage is pretty high, and if it was a triple, it might have been one of my highest crit damage weapons. That's a sell. That's a sell. 
Too many different stats. I was kind of thinking that might be a good offset piece, but... Yeah, I, don't, I mean, maybe I roll these up. Yeah, okay. Never mind. I was going to say, if it gets a triple crit rate... And then this, I really need... Let me just check my boots real quick for regen, but I think I have a decent bit of six star. Yeah, like I've got these ones I'm kind of in the way of again here. Let me hide over here. Uh, but these ones are with speed, resistance, and accuracy. Defense percent, defense percent, defense, defense. Another set of speed boots with defense and resist. Speed boots with accuracy. A lot of speed boots with... Um, resist but nothing with like crazy good substats but i still these ones i think just get outclassed even if it rolls double hp percent yeah no i think i think it's just a sell they're not super great i'm gonna roll these up too Yeah, I figured. Figured that was a waste of a roll, but oh well. Pop back over here. Cool. And I just have like a bunch of random stuff. I'm going to keep these because they're crit damage and I'm lacking on crit damage gloves. And a double speed. That's fantastic. If I could ascend, I would. Yeah, I've got a decent bit of regen that I need to check out, but we will end it here. Grab the rank five chicken, which is kind of nice. We'll end it here and yeah, I will uh, catch you guys probably Monday, if not, uh, you'll you'll see a shard pull video from me and uh yeah i'll be gone like i said i'm gonna do a grappling tournament on saturday so i'll let you guys know how it goes it's my first time and i'm super excited like i said i i cut weight so i'm i'm only like 135 for my weight which is pretty crazy normally i'm around like 140 145 and it was interesting doing a weight cut for sure but Hopefully it goes well. Hopefully I uh, make weight and then I perform to a level that I think is good. And who knows if it if it goes really well, maybe I'll uh, post some videos or something. But it's only if anyone cares. So, all right. Have a great weekend, guys. Let me know how your shard pulls shard pulls go uh, this weekend, and I'll make sure to post mine if I do any. But I'll uh, catch you guys in the next one. Peace.